What's going on guys? Today is a little bit of a lazy day for me. I'm not feeling too great, so I'm still recovering. I've been a little bit sick the last couple of days, but I'm feeling a little bit better finally, and I'm gonna kind of walk you through my day today. I pretty much do a lot of my recording right in my bedroom. I have a little bit of a space set up here. I have all my lights, my shoes, everything that I make videos with here right in my bedroom. So here we got a little bit of a setup. I got my big light here. I got the small rig. RC450D, this thing's a beast. It gives me all the light I'll ever need. And here we got some Thursday boots, some of the videos I've been making for them. My little setup here, my TV over there on the side. It's a little bit, you know, a little cramped. It looks a little, little bit more wide in videos, but I make it work, you know, you gotta work with what you got. I'm going to be making some content with these boots here, Commander black matte edition super stoked for these and then i need to make a video with this bomber jacket super stoked for this one as well i love the way it fits you'll probably be seeing this scene in the video i made for these sneakers so I made the sneakers, set up the scene for them, put all the other sneakers on the racks over there, give a nice aesthetic vibe. So that's a little bit of a tour of my room setup here that I make my videos for. And I think what we're gonna do next, before we start recording everything, I still need to shower, but I figured I might as well go to the gym really quick and get a quick workout in, and then I'm gonna go shower and get down to business because I have a lot of stuff to record today. A lot of stuff for Thursdays. I also recently got this thing from Zayun. I think I'm saying it correctly. I've been a big fan of their brand, but I never know how to say it, Zayun. So I got this bad boy from them. Oh, I'm so, kind of hard to do with one hand, but. It's actually very easy to open up if you have two hands available, but look at this. We got this amazing light from Zayun, the V60. Again, I recently just used it with some pictures with Anya. We did a little photo shoot and a video for them. This is, let me see, where's the, there it is. The Fiverr Ray V60. It's amazing. I've always wanted to get one of these lights and let's show you, let's turn it on. Dang, look at that. And this is only at 50% and you can change the temperature of it. It gives you amazing sunset looks too if you use it for photos outside. Perfect for those cloudy days, which is all that's been happening lately. We've had rain, snow, and clouds literally for weeks now. Anytime I wanna film anything outdoors, it's just the worst absolute weather and I'm so sick of it. But thankfully, a little bit of ray of hope, pun intended, that we got this light and we can finally make some content outdoors and get some nice golden looks. If I finish the pictures by the time this vlog's coming out, maybe I'll even post some here of a before and after with the light and without the light, what it's like to take pictures out in the cloudy weather. But I think that's it for the room tour. We're gonna go drive out to the gym. I have a little bit of a setup in the basement with some weights on there, but I kinda wanna get out of the house and just go lift some weights, feel better again, you know? Get myself psyched up to record for today because my energy has been very low lately and I need to pick myself up a little bit. Maybe get an energy drink, I'm not gonna lie. And of course it's raining or snowing or something, I don't know, but there's droplets of water on the windscreen. Look at the weather outside. This is what we have to deal with. Anytime we wanna go film outside, it's gloomy, it's rainy, it's cold and snow everywhere. Like, how the heck are we supposed to work with this, huh? It's not all that bad, but it's kind of bad. Especially when we are out there for like 20, 30 minutes at a time, which doesn't seem that long, but when you're out in the cold and you're freezing, it's bad. Because it's raining, I don't think I'm gonna be able to record outside today, so I'm gonna have to find a solution to do some indoor videos. I guess we'll find out what happens, but I don't wanna drive and record, so I'll see you at the gym. Actually, I'm not gonna record at the gym, so I'll probably see you after the gym. And I'm back. Nothing's worse than finishing a workout and you're all nice and warm and you go sit in the cold car. Oh, 
I'm tired. I think I'm still recovering a little bit from being sick, so the workout took a little bit out of me, more than I thought. But I did a little bit of shoulders today. Got all the essentials, the front, the back, the sides. I didn't really do traps today, I actually forgot now that I think about it. Maybe I, I'm not gonna go back now. I'm already done. <laughs> but I think now the plan is go back home, make a protein shake, shower, and honestly, I think I'm gonna need to trim up my beard a little bit. It's getting a little bit all over the place, a little frizzy and mangled up, so maybe I'll trim up my beard a little bit. And then I'm gonna probably head over to my sister's house to record in her living room because I don't really have anywhere else to record. And she has a nice spacious living room, so I think I'm gonna go there, record, and call it a day. So let's see what happens. All right, new developments. I just got back to my room. We got a couple things going on right now. I just got a package from Ziyun. We talked about their light earlier, and I just literally got the gimbal that they sent over. Let's uh, do a quick little unboxing. I already opened it by myself without you guys. Sorry, but all right. Here's getting opened up. We got a little flap here. We got this, and then take a look at that. I'm trying to be very careful here not to drop the brand new gimbal. This is the Crane 4 Pro Edition. My camera is very heavy. I use the Canon R5 and an 85 millimeter lens on there. Uh, I'll show it to you in a second. Take a look at that, that's sick. It has all these attachments in here, it has the arm, and I have no idea how to use it, so I'm going to be reading the instructions at a later point in time because today is not the day to be recording this, unfortunately. But, I don't know why I said but, but nothing. This is gonna go off to the side, and now we have to take apart all of this. I just wanna straighten this out first. I'm gonna pop off this soft box. I'm not gonna take it apart because I have to stick all the rods in and out of here. So I'm just gonna transport it like this. It's just gonna go in my car, so no big deal. And then next, really easy, this un screws there we go and this is the light kind of neat right I think it goes in like that right yeah there we go no idea what that's for and it comes with this big block even has like a locking mechanism here Ooh, there we go i'm in a rush now so i'm a little out of breath and trying to get all this sorted out i don't remember how any of this supposed to go in here. I completely forgot. This thing goes in there. That goes in here. That makes sense. That's supposed to go in this way. The handle. Yep. Yes, sir. Put all these straps inside. And then we want to take this. There you go. I still have the my newer tag on here again i've been using this for months and still have all the tags on everything uh, we got my camera here let me show it to you really quick we got my canon r5 if you can even see it on there and an 85 millimeter 1.2 it's a very heavy setup so that's why the gimbal is the crane 4 because it can support very heavy cameras on there i don't know why i'm stumbling over my words but oh my gosh and I managed to get a fingerprint on it. Ah! But all right, I'm gonna finish setting up. We're gonna head over to my sister's house. I'm gonna start recording there. So I'll see you guys when they get... Also, what the heck is going on with my hair? This is what happens whenever I shower and stuff. Uh, this is, look at what it looks like without my headband in there. Looks pretty cool, I feel like. But I will see you guys in literally a snap of finger.
Just made it back home. I'm so tired. I think I'm still actually recovering a little bit from being sick because I felt fine in the morning time, but after working out, after recording, driving back and forth, uh, I'm beat. Also, I felt a little awkward trying to record a talking segment at my sister's house because she was there and her husband was there and I was kind of like, I don't know, it felt a little weird to try and do a little vlog style in front of them. So I just set the camera up and did a little bit behind the scenes, <laughs> which is funny enough because it wasn't weird to actually record my video that I was doing. I don't know. I feel like my priorities of weirdness are a little different than most people because I don't have a problem going in public, doing pictures. I'll even just like set up my tripod outdoors in front of other people to record myself. I'm like, it literally doesn't bother me. I'm just there to make a video. But if I'm talking to the camera, actually, I take that back. If I'm outside and I'm talking to the camera, I also don't care about other people. But when it's like someone you know and your own family, I feel like it's a little different, like a little shyness comes out. I think it's because I need to do it more often. That's the thing. I don't really, make talking videos as much, which I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make more talking videos because I actually really enjoy talking and rambling and just showing random things. And yeah, on top of like all my cinematic stuff, I like doing some behind the scenes, behind the scenes stuff with everyone. I still have these boots that I need to record. These are the commander boots I showed you earlier. But that I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm not too much in a rush to record that one. So right now I just need to catch up on editing because I have my video for these sneakers that I recorded yesterday. So I need to edit that. Just edited this jacket video. I did the video for that V60 light I showed you earlier. So I need to edit that. And a lot of editing. I'm trying to get pretty much all this stuff done by the end of the month. But that's kind of what goes behind the scenes a little bit in our lives. I mean, I'm only showing you my side. Anya does her own thing as well. A lot of times she'll come and use my setup here, as you've seen in plenty of her videos. We share a lot of the same props and everything. But also, do you like my cleaned up facial hair? I did it myself, lined it up a little bit. And then in the future, also, I don't know if you noticed or not from my videos. I cut my hair a bit. I'm gonna do some color or something soon to it. And then eventually I'm going to cut it short and then it's gonna be short. I've had short in the past for a while. The long hair was a new thing once COVID began and all the haircut places shut down. So I kind of just started growing out hair and that's how that all happened. And then it got to a point where it grew out so long that it was weird to try and cut it and I didn't want to cut it anymore. That's when I started doing a lot of the social media stuff and then became a little bit bigger on social media. So my long hair has kind of been like my thing all of a sudden and it's so weird to try and change it now. But I think I'm slowly getting ready for a change and it's going to be a, a lot of fun new stuff. Anyways, peace out guys. Thank you for tuning in. A little bit of a behind the scenes day for me and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.